If you don't want to buy no girl nothing and you talking about you feel like you a simp, you don't want to get their hair done, you don't want to get their nails done, you don't want to do nothing for them, you don't want to send them no little cash out, no little Zelle to make them feel good for the day, you don't want to take them on no date, leave them type of girls alone. Leave them type of girls alone. You know what them type of girls look like. If you can't afford that girl, leave her alone. Because guess what? It is a group of men. It's a society of men. They want them type of girls and we will take care of them. You feel me? We going to make them feel safe. Baby, you want to cash out? Uh. You need them nails done? Uh. You ain't even have to ask me. I'm going to look at the nails. You feel me? Uh. There you go. You want to go eat? Baby, I'm going to eat anyway. Uh. She is safe with us. I don't judge men that want to spend their money how they want to spend their money. Uh, myself, on the other hand, I I can't do that. Unless you earn that, I can't just go out there and just trick money on you. Oh, you got to earn this motherfucking dinner, bitch. What the you talk about? <laughs> Call me a scrub. Call me whatever you want, but no. What is your select? Confession. Yeah, I was homie hopping. They were homies to ops. And I had man's number one pull up to my crib. He was just like being a munch, gave me head. He left and hit the new man's came like and ate the nut out. Like what? What the Hey yo, what the f Hey yo, nah. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Did she say the new man's came and and ate the seed out? First off, like why y'all just running to random women houses and 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 munching on carpet? I never understand dudes that, and I know y'all probably got friends that done did this, cause I got friends that do this too. Oh, uh. I'll go down on you if you go down on me. And then he gonna go down on her, and then she kick you out the crib. It's a few of y'all out there that done got your mouth wet, and that's the only thing you got wet. She sends you home with a bottle of water. Now you in the store buying fucking winter fresh with blue balls. And you... <laughs> worst feeling ever, because I know you can smell it on your mustache. Nasty. How much do you spend the guy to spend on the first day? How much would you spend on the first day? At least five hundred dollars. On the first day, about a dollar. One hundred fifty dollars. That's a car what note. Would you get with one hundred and fifty dollars. Five hundred dollars. I mean, a nice. I feel like a I like a decent meal. It's your wife. Yes. How you doing, bro? No. What's your name? My name is John. Are you his missus? No. Yeah. What's going on, though, homie? Why is your wife walking away? You gotta pay to get my hair done, my nails done, my feet done. So let me ask you this: If he pays for all that, right? And a date doesn't go good. Are you going to refund them? <laughs> no, you spend how I look and I look good. So you got to spend a good bag. How much is that though? Um, as much as I want him to. <laughs> I say two fifty. Three hundred. Bro, she lied. She lied. A band? Because my f***ing dad good for a band. Like, what are you talking about? No, how much do you expect a guy to spend on the first date? As much as he wants. At least a hundred. Like, maybe like a hundred and twenty. Don't spend no money on it. At least 50. What would you give a 50? Steak. Steak costs almost 500 depending on what you want. If we go to a nice dinner, at least 700. But if we're going to a regular dinner, $4 me. She said seven bands. Seven bands? Five bands. For That's what? That's how you know. She ain't never go on an expensive date. Talking about some 3000 7000 option. What about yeah. you? What about you? What about you? What about you? What about you? But me personally, I don't really care what we eat. I got food at home already. YouTube I'm not gonna lie, I'm not particularly a dating type of type of man. You know what I'm saying? In my relationship with my wife, the most I have spent on dinner was five hundred dollars. And I want you I want to break it down for y'all. The dinner was for me, my wife, her father, and my son. There's four people. I spent five hundred dollars. So if me and you going on dinner and it's just us, and it's the first date, 
and you want me to spend five hundred upwards of five hundred dollars on you? Come on, my come on, son. <laughs> come on, son. Type of guy I am, son. The most I'll probably spend be like a hundred and fifty, right? And I'm gonna be real with you. If the dinner is going trash before the check come, I'm not gonna pay it. Oh, you sound like a savage. I'm not gonna pay it. Cause the product is false advertising. You feel what I'm saying? You're not gonna give me a refund. There's some buy here, pay here type of situation, and I ain't going for that. So if we go on a date and the date is trash, like, you know, some people you go on dates with them and they don't know how to speak. They can't carry a conversation. Like, they automatically got it like, oh, you corny. Like, I'm not, nah. If I ain't feeling your energy on our first date, I ain't paying for that shit. The conversation gonna be different when you call your friends. It ain't gonna be like, oh, I tricked this nigga into buying me some food. Now it's gonna be like, yo, you know, this motherfucker made me pay for my food. Bum ass, I don't give a fuck. I ain't never gonna have to see you again. I ain't never gonna see you again. So, it's it's Gucci. But yeah, I think the if you going on a first date, as much as I don't want to spend no bread, I would say hundred and fifty dollars, and that's for both of y'all. Hundred and fifty dollars. Y'all can judge me. Go ahead and judge me. I don't care. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Mother tried to fight me one day. He had a knife. Only thing I hear, like I said, shit. In bottles. They scared the devil shit. So he pulled his knife out. So I run up on him. I said, yeah, dude, what's up? <laughs> it backs up. He said, put the shit down. <laughs> put the knife, nigga. Put the knife down. Folks want to go to prison and deal with people like this, bro. Do y'all know who that is? I likes you and I want you. We could do this the easy way or we could do this the hard way. That's who that is. They don't let his ass out of prison, bro. Oh, man. Yeah. And then they say, you know, I'm chasing him. He's running. Yeah, he got a knife. He got a knife running from duty. That's how powerful a duty was in prison. <laughs> like, if I ran up on you right now, you gonna fight me. I pull out two bottles of shit, hit the lids on it. <laughs> I said, what's up, nigga? What you gonna do? Rush me? Nah, I ain't running in on no shit. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna run up on no duty, man. When I do like that, you gonna back up. <laughs> You ain't gonna run up on no duty, man. Hey, I heard like they used to make uh, what they used to call it, a a dookie pistol. They make dookie pistols in prison or dookie bombs. I I forgot what they call them. Even dookie bombs or, or dookie pistols, bro. And basically, that that's exactly what he said. They put duty. They put doodle in a bottle. And they walk around with it. Motherfucker might rob <laughs> Motherfucker might rob you for your commissary with a bottle full of doodle. I'm good, bro. But y'all y'all gangster. Y'all wanna go to prison, right? I'm good. Alright, I'll touch me. Please, baby. Uh -huh. Don't do it, Jimmy. You gotta touch me now. That dude just makes it. I'm tired, baby. I know. I like you though. You don't like me? I uh uh. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I ain't never thought you did. Baby, when we were at the store, you told me to give you a line number. I like you. Oh, no, I did not say this at all. You did, sweetheart. You probably dreaming. Oh. You probably were wishing I said that. I do. Oh, he you. said, I do. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. You look so good. You, look like you ain't got no money. Yeah, I got a man. Oh, you come going with somebody? Yeah. Oh, shit. Y'all be having sex then. Right. No, I want to go ahead and say until we get married. Okay, okay. You a cute lady. Who you Thank you. Yeah, red bikes. But you have head sex. I ain't never had sex. Nigga said you have head sex, bro. Mm -hmm. 
I ain't never had sex. You put nine in me. I'm serious. Ain't nobody been child. I ain't nothing but 20. Well, let me lick it first. Yeah. It's naked. Yeah. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm a Christian woman. I don't care. OG going off. Come on, come on, come on. OG going off. Oh my God. How much you pay? How much? $500. $500? You got $500 right now? You ain't got it. You let me get something. Nah, they're talking to virgin. $500. You let me look at it. Look at it. Say, let me yeah. look at yeah, it. Look at it for 500 no, I'm talking about you will let me see it, but I bet you got for you on that. You're so beautiful, baby. You got some good skin. Okay. <laughs> hey, yo. <clears throat> it's a lot of y'all boys right now. On y'all red pill. I don't need a woman. It's a lot of y'all gonna end up like that when y'all about 70. Lonely, desperate, desperate for companionship. It's a lot of y'all, man. I know. I know. Right? Y'all boys be wanting me to choose sides. Is either I'ma start is either I'ma talk bad about women or y'all ain't fucking with me. But I'ma tell you the truth, bro. It's a lot of y'all boys gonna end up like that, man. You're gonna be old as hell, should have grandkids. But you out here in the street chasing after young tail. And these young women is taking advantage of you. Taking advantage of you. Or just period looking at you like you gross. Because at the end of the day, man, you, 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 spoil, you spoil milk, bro. You spoil milk. Alright? Find you somebody you can grow old with, man. I ain't saying go and rush it, but still, find you somebody you can grow old with. Don't be that old nigga that's single, and you know the Green Reaper is coming, so now you're just desperate to get some attention. You're just desperate to have somebody, because that, that's when you become a victim. Okay? You might be on your red pill shit now, but in a few years, not a few, and when you become a geriatric, you're going to be a victim.